Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to hit today. We're going over cosmic rays, Earth spot physics, and more on Earth's magnetic field, currently undergoing an excursion, a magnetic pole shift. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find things were mostly quiet. We took a small M-class solar flare this morning to break the quiet, but it was impulsive and not aimed at Earth. No other flares or eruptions occurred in the Earth-facing position, so let's take a quick closer look at the items of note in space weather starting with a flare. That little M-class event is at the sunspots beginning to depart our view to the right, but my focus is about to shift to the left side where a growing group of umbral cores is spinning in. We'll have eyes open there. Up next, we're going out to space where the vacuum emptiness is actually a sea of cosmic rays. They studied the super high energies of cosmic rays in the study and found that they get some of those extreme energy levels via magnetic turbulence. This occurs around stars, galactic cores, and throughout the galactic disks. It is a magnetic universe after all. Coming back to Earth next, veteran observers, if you remember the Earth spot science, they're about to break that wall down. It's the penumbral lines on the rim perimeter of the hurricane eye, also works for cyclones and typhoons. Their first attempt here is to analyze with temperature, pressure, and wind. It may be a while before they electromagnetically tie these to sunspot penumbra. Lastly, folks, we mentioned yesterday that the new model of the magnetic field is out. The 2025 update to the model data is in there, but it has not yet been applied to the graphic interactive or the annual report. Found out yesterday, that report may not come out until next month, so we had some consolation prizes yesterday. Hopefully you caught the second video yesterday afternoon, where we went over this chart and how the auroral displays are a huge sign of the magnetic pole shift. Catch that one on our channel page if you missed it. And we also dropped a little gem on X, formerly Twitter, by testing AI Grok on the magnetic pole shift. I asked it to make a well-cited argument for the concern brought by a geomagnetic excursion, and it did quite well. It began describing the event and quickly moved on to the potential for it to impact living creatures, including DNA mutations from cosmic radiation and food chain impacts. Hopefully those sound familiar to you guys. Next, it hit the ozone destruction surge due to penetrating particles. I know that's familiar to you guys, and they suggest it changes weather patterns and global temperatures. It stopped by the human technological risk, which is far greater than from a simple solar storm, with everything from GPS to power grids collapsing in the event. With the radiation and climate and food chain impacts causing extinctions, every recent major study confirms this same idea. Extinction upticks occur when the world changes dramatically in this magnetic way. Overall, it wrote only about seven paragraphs, but it was pretty elite. Far better than GPT ever did with that question. Stop over to my X page, at Sun Weatherman, to read it in full. You should be following me there anyway. Folks, the next two mini-conferences are set at Observer Ranch. As January approaches, we'll begin announcing other major events this coming year. Come out and see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.